Well, congratulations. You've reached the end of the course, and boy, have we covered a lot of territory. Let me just remind you where we've been. We started off with an introduction to Drupal and a quick top 10 hit list on why you should choose Drupal. Number two was installation. And in the installation section, we used Acquia's Dev Desktop, and I also demonstrated Acquia's Cloud. Let me stop for just a moment and say once again, thank you to our sponsor for this class, Acquia. They've been fantastic to work with, and of course, provided two amazing tools for us to use in our Drupal experience. We then went on a quick tour of the administration toolbar and then dove into content. Content types, fields, taxonomy, path, creating content, creating a lot of content with Devel, talking about the displays, introducing you to views, finishing up with image styles, and then finalizing our last view. Wow, that was a lot of work, but that's where the bulk of the work is in getting your Drupal site up and running. Next, we talked about how to extend Drupal through modules, and then we talked about layouts. Layouts include your theme, your blocks, and your menus. We finished up with a section on people and site management, and then going further with drupal.org and the community. I just want to say thank you for joining us for this course and leaving you with just a couple of thoughts. If you need more help, or if you want more resources, let me encourage you, head on over to ostraining.com. We have additional Drupal 8 classes that you can enjoy, as well as a huge volume of Drupal 7 classes if you're still on Drupal 7. We also have courses on WordPress, Joomla, web developer tools, and even some basic PHP and HTML courses. If you're looking for world-class hosting and services, I want to encourage you to head over to Acquia.com and talk to the good people over there about all of your needs. Well, again, thanks for joining us in this course, The Beginner's Guide to Drupal 8. <laughs>